How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm good. Good. What What's the first few days of spring been like for you? How's it going? Uh, it's been good, man. I can't complain about it. Everything's been good. Energy's been high. Everybody glad to be back in the building playing some football. Josh, being able to be in this program now for a year, what's different in just your mind heading into this season, being more comfortable? Obviously, a lot of new faces still. Not No Spencer Rattler here, but being able to get a little bit more acclimated with the program. Different for me or like for like all the guys? Uh, I don't know if you can say it's been different because, you know, every year things change in college football. You know, teams change, players leave, coaches leave, and stuff like that. But, you know, we still come in every day and we want to play some football, man. But it ain't it ain't been too different. But, yeah, you know, some guys is not here no more. Like, Leggett, my boy, you can tell he's gone. You can tell Spence gone. Like, it's a, it's a difference. You can tell when, you know, those pieces are missing in the building. But, you know, that's why you got other guys you can connect with and, you know, you can build that with them. Josh, your tight end room had a little bit of a shakeup this offseason. You're now being looked on as a veteran guy, and then you also get a guy like yeah. Brady Hunt to bring up all these new guys. What's that been like as, like, a veteran mentor? And then, too, what's Brady been like as well? Uh, that vet where, you know, I was, the, I was the old guy in the room last year. I was older than Trey, so now it's kind of like I'm really the – you know, the vet. But it's been good, man. Brady, he's a, a good dude. Uh, he comes to work. I'm, I'm glad to meet him, man. He's a he's a different individual, you know. I ain't going to say too much about him. But, yeah, it's been good, man. The, all the young guys, Nick, Reed, Mo, and Connor, they they, they coming along. And now it's their second year in it, so they kind of getting the feel for things. So it, it's, been, it's been smooth. What uh, defender has given you the most trouble through the first week or two? Uh, get back to me on that one. I haven't, you know, those those boys, they play hard, they uh, chase the ball, they do things like that, but uh, I, don't, I don't know, it ain't, get back to me on that Can Can you go ahead and give us your impressions of, of Coach Elliott and what it's been like with him for this first <laughs> month or so? Hey, I, I knew that one was coming, I knew that was coming. Uh, Coach Elliott, man, if you can understand what, like, they say the old school coaching, like the old school guy, you kind of got to, Look, see who around you with him. He'd be like, "Cause Elliot, you can't come on now, you know." But uh, he's he's intense. He has high energy every day. He uh, he loves what he does. He's not gonna take mediocrity. You know, that's what kind of what you look for in a coach. Like he's gonna push you to be your best, and he's gonna push everybody. He don't just coaches us the tight ends. He you if you see him, he be flying around talking to everybody. But yeah, man, I love the guy. Josh, piggybacking off that, I know it's early because you guys are still trying to figure out identities and all that, which we have plenty of months to worry about. But as far as Coach Elliott is concerned, what do you expect that tight end room to look like? Robbie Ashford talked that he can see this offense being very physical, want that identity. Do you think that's fair to say? Yeah, that's very fair to say. Physical, smart, uh, guys that's going to compete, play through the whistle, man. Uh, with Coach Elliott behind us, we don't, we don't got no choice. Without having to say too much, what what have you seen from from your quarterbacks uh, to this point during during the spring? Uh, a lot of athleticism. Uh, right now, it's still early, so we're still growing, we're still gelling. You know, the early bumps and bruises that come with spring ball. But uh, I see those guys. I see a lot of smart dudes back there. I see the guys. You know, they're still well with Lenore. So this is second year being in the offense, but uh, like Davis and Dante and, and Robbie, they they're getting a feel of Coach Coach Logan's expectations and how things are operating around here and I feel like once you give them time to, to really understand it and get it, they getting it now, don't get me wrong, they getting it, but you know, things come with time and, and they'll be good. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.